Welcome to InterShop's tutorial, Simple Setup of a Development System. Our system is based on Linux. We additionally provide adoption instructions for systems based on Windows. In this tutorial, we want to show you the development system setup step by step. First, we will create a root project called A-Responsive, together with the assembly and sub-projects like cartridges. Next, we build and publish the project in the local repository. Then, we will deploy the server. In the last step, we set up the database. Please note the CI structure with the Nexus preparations, the related version control system and the CI server will not be considered in this tutorial. So, let's go right into our workspace. The project will be set up in our user home. The next steps are based on the cookbook Set up CI Infrastructure. You will find this cookbook in our knowledge base on the InterShop support homepage. This cookbook describes in full detail how to create the required CI infrastructure. It provides detailed examples based on Jenkins as CI server and Subversion or Git for version control. In addition, the cookbook also describes how to set up the required users and permissions. We refer to the recipes, create sources from InterShop templates and set up project based on the responsive starter store. For project setup or development environment setup, it is necessary to have scripts, configuration files and also some basic source artifacts. Therefore, we provide a template to be found in the recipe Create Sources from InterShop Templates. Use the URL to download the master template zip file via browser or command line. Then we unzip the template. Now we leave the terminal and switch to the unzip template directory. Here, we open the build.gradle file, which needs modifications. All to-dos are to be checked and modified. Here, we define our setup directory in an absolute path. It is necessary to define a repository base URL. In our example, it is a pre-configured local Nexus server. Be sure to enter your own Nexus URL here. In our tutorial, we define a project name, a responsive but this can be chosen freely. Then save the file, close it and open a terminal in this directory in order to generate all source artifacts. Therefore, execute the Gradle task InterShop CI Setup All. Please note, always pay attention to the correct spelling of the tasks. Leave the terminal. We have a new user home directory called InterShop CI Setup Source where our A-Responsive root project is located. Now, we want to set up our project based on the Responsive Starter Store. After creating the project source structure from the InterShop templates, it is necessary to fill the project with the specific artifacts, especially those that make up the storefront. The Responsive Starter Store is a good starting point that provides the functionality, code artifacts and demo content for a standard responsive storefront. How to get the Responsive Starter Store, do the following steps. Head over to our support homepage and go to Product Resources. Here you can see the latest versions and fixes of our ICM 7.9. Every version offers a dedicated Responsive Starter Store version. Please note, the first number of the Responsive version is assigned to exactly one specific ICM version. All compatibilities can be found at the corresponding KB article. We recommend to update the Responsive Starter Store with each ICM update to the respective version to ensure the compatibility. Now, copy the link and enter it with your customization in your browser to download the file. For this tutorial, we have already downloaded the file A Responsive 413. 413 represents the version related to the 7.913 InterShop Commerce Management. Open the zip file and extract all content in your root project. You can skip the overwriting of the already existing Gradle folder. The responsive starter store zip contains by default all data for your B2X and B2C. Here you can see a table that describes the needed cartridges for each version. Remove not needed subprojects and assemblies. Now, you can check the ICM version within the IVB2X version file. 
In our tutorial, we use version 7.913. Now, let's customize our responsive starter store root project. We start with the build.gradle and change the release configuration of the project in the following way. Then, we remove the not required B2C content like the IV B2C dependency and default update provider and define only the inspired B2X project assembly. Save and close. For the next step, we need the corporate distribution URL from our Nexus for the Gradle.wrapper. Therefore, we switch to our Nexus repository in the browser. You will get the correct path within the distributions repository. This has to be created and completed by yourself. Please note, make sure to use the appropriate distribution version for your project. The just copy distribution URL is now pasted into the Gradle.wrapper properties file in the Gradle and Wrapper directory. Save, close and switch back to your root project and open a terminal. Now execute the Gradle task Enable Hot Code Reloading. During this task, an environment property sample was created. This is to be found in the assembly under Target Samples. Copy the file and add it to the assembly. Rename and open it. The properties are environment specific and differ accordingly to the system structure. Customize the file according to your system infrastructure. It is recommended to use a development properties file for development systems to override default settings. We have prepared one that we copy into the assembly and it looks like this. Now we have finished the project configuration. To ensure this level, we build our project into our local repository. We open a terminal, set the gradle.environment for the active user and then execute the publish task. The build project is located in the local repository directory. By default, you can find it in the straight home directory. Here, each build subproject is in a separate folder and can be distinguished by the version number. In the IV file, you can see the dependencies to cartridges, subprojects, and commerce management assembly. Please note, version 3.0.0 is the initial version of our root project and should be incremented before each new release in the local repository to avoid overwriting existing ones. Now, switch back to the root project, open a terminal and set the gradle.environment again to run the task Deploy Server. This task deploys the server locally. As in the note, we install the services as an administrator with root privileges. Now, the deployment is finished, the server directory is in the build directory. The next step is to set up and initialize our database. Use the predefined setup script located in Build, Server, Local, Tools, DBinit, Bin. By default, this script is not executable by any user. Please change this permission before execution. In our example, the internship user has the permission. Open a terminal and execute the DB setup script and use the predefined parameter values in square brackets by confirmation or enter your own values. In our tutorial, we use the predefined values. After this is done, we will initialize our database. Therefore, switch back to the local directory and go to bin. Here, open a terminal and set the environment before executing the DB init script. This process takes necessarily some time for the first server deployment. Thereby, the database is filled with all Intershop relevant data. After initializing, we only have to start the services. In our case, they are to be found under etc initd. If you are not sure where to find yours, you can have a look in the install services script. Before starting the service, please note that the services must be started as an administrator with root privileges. The following services are now started. Microservices, Discovery Server, and subsequently all e-server services. Please note the number in the service name represents the instance ID.
After the services have started, we recommend to rebuild all search indexes. This can be done quickly and easily using the job Rebuild Search Services. To do this, log into the System Management. Switch to the tab Schedules. Open Scheduling and change the domain to SLD system to get only the domain-specific jobs listed. Now, execute the job Rebuild Search Indexes. This creates the search indexes for Solar for the first time, which we need, for example, when browsing and searching in the storefront. After this step, our tutorial is finished. You now have a project, a deployed development server, and access to our responsive starter store and all standard functionalities of our ICM 7.9 B2X version. For example, you can open the back office of the Inspired organization, the Intronix storefront, Business Storefront and the partner organization Myers. Additionally, the Solar, Eureka, WA Statistics and Cluster Management are provided, where you can take a look at all your servers. Now, you can customize the project according to your preferences and requirements. For more information, please take a look into our knowledge base or contact our support team. Thank you for watching and see you next time.